Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I thought a fun little way for you guys to get to know me a little better would be to do a little Q&A. I had you guys ask me a few questions the other day on Instagram. I've got Brooks here. Hello. <laughs> He's picked out a few questions. He's going to ask them. I don't know what they are. Good luck. <laughs> Alright, so question number one, we'll start with a little bit of a softball. What is your favorite food and why? Italian. I love Italian food. I love garlic. Uh, the, the herbs, the spices, and everything Italian. Which country would you love to visit and why? So, rolling with the Italian food, I think I would go with Italy. Like, everything about Italy just looks, like, romantic and fun, like Italy. Okay. <laughs> why do you love Baby Yoda so much? <laughs> Saucy Sports asking the real deep questions now. Because he's cute. Like... Come on guys, you cannot tell me that Baby Yoda's not the cutest little thing you've ever seen. It's adorable. <laughs> and he goes everywhere with us. And yeah, he goes everywhere. Sometimes I travel with three of them. What's your favorite post-workout snack? Um, right now, I'm on the avocado on sourdough. And if you have not tried Mike's Hot Honey, let me introduce you to it. It is the best thing. Since I've discovered it, I literally put it on everything. Like, I put it on everything. <laughs> But <laughs> let me put you on to something. Sourdough, toasted avocado, crushed red pepper, some Mike's Hot Honey. So good. <laughs> now I'm hungry. Where is your favorite place to go on vacation? Uh, the Panama, Gulf Shores, Destin area. Okay. I can live there. Love it. It's a vibe. Hopefully I don't look too crazy. That's Selena Gomez, the rare beauty, blush. She pigmented. Come out looking like a clown if you don't control your hand. <laughs> Fellas, don't worry, I don't know what any of that means either. You will look like a clown. Ladies, go light, go light. What's your favorite color? Yellow. Yellow. It's just so happy, it's sunshine. It makes me feel warm and fuzzy. <laughs> So, Jay Bolt, I apologize if I put your name, said, I see you got a good shoe game. What's your favorite pair of sneakers? Ooh, kind of a hard question. Y'all, she got a I lot. like shoes. <laughs> um, I wear my Air Force Ones all the time, I feel like. So, just like my regular shoes that I wear, probably my solid white Air Force Ones. But when it comes to the gym, I fake my solid white Nike Phantoms. They're the slip-ons, you don't have to tie them. Super, super comfortable. I think that would have to be it. Ooh, this one's gonna be a good one. What's your most embarrassing moment? <laughs> We're getting deep now. Okay, oh, wait a minute, let me blend this out, because this is a story. <laughs> Grab popcorn, because, okay. So I was about 17 years old, and the youth group was doing the summer car wash at our local Hardee's. Well, I got there early. I was going to go in and get me some breakfast. My uh, youth leader told me that it was okay. I could go ahead. So I go to my car while I'm heading to my car and somehow, some way. Okay. So like, so like this is the, this is the parking spot. Okay. The parking lot. There was a wall from the parking lot that was like this high off the ground. I somehow managed <laughs> to think that was level and I walked <laughs> right off of that wall, fell flat on my face in that parking spot. Let me add, it is seven o'clock in the morning and there is a line, I'm talking about a double wrap line around Hardy's. Everybody saw it. There were people laughing at me. And I, when I fell into the parking spot, there was a man that was driving by that stopped dead. Like, he, did, he stopped his truck and was looking over, like, to see if I was okay. If I could ever die of embarrassment, <laughs> that would have been the moment that I would have died of embarrassment. Because I went and I hid in my car until every single person <laughs> that saw me fall went through the line before I would even get out. Because I literally thought I was going to die. So, that is definitely my most embarrassing moment. I was absolutely humiliated. It was so bad. I don't even know how. 
All right, so next up, one of our friends actually in Nashville, Rachel. What's Hi, up, Rachel? Rachel? What are your favorite food spots in Nashville? Um, I'm gonna go local because Chewy's don't count. Chewy's always counts. Like, yeah, but like Chewy's is not like a exclusive thing. So let's think, let's think, let's think. I liked that bar taco that was on 12th South. That was really cool. Obviously there's plenty of coffee shops that I like. Like Frothy Monkey, The Well House, Fido. So if you haven't caught on, she went to a lot of more unique coffee shops. Oh yeah, I was a coffee shop hopper. I went to a lot of coffee shops. There's just like unique Now we get food there. Like, well, we didn't really eat out that much. That Loveless Cafe. That was good. If you were ever, ever in Nashville and you like, like the uh, southern, like, what would you call it? Like home style? Like home style cooking, yeah. Home style. Go to the Loveless Cafe. It is so good. And if you know, you know, I like biscuits. You can also never go wrong with Chewy's, just- No, Chewy's is local. I know, but it's still so good. We gotta have local. It deserves an honorary mention. Yeah, it's Chewy's. Go to Chewy's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's stick with food for a second. Okay. What's your favorite cheat meal? Okay. So, I really don't have cheat meals. I try just to eat everything in like moderation. And I've also found a lot of like healthy alternatives to foods that I like. Like chocolate chip cookies, because I'm not giving those up. French fries. I love my fries. I found some healthy alternatives to fries. So I don't really have cheat days. I just try to eat in moderation. Pretty much let myself have anything that I want. It's easier to stick to what you do when you don't feel like you're restricted, if that makes sense. And so you go to Chewy's and they put that healthy and then they go, for you. And then when I go to Chewy's, I guess if you want to call a cheat meal, I do go in on that jalapeno ranch, cause y'all, she could drink that stuff with a straw. I ain't lying. Um, have I have used a spoon before? I mean, I wasn't gonna say it, <laughs> but now it's out there. And it was good. What music do you listen to? It's a wide variety. I go from Frank Sinatra to NF to Selena Gomez <laughs> to like. Happy days of like lollipop. Yeah, when she plays music in the morning <laughs> getting ready, it's an eclectic mix on our playlist. But most of the time I listen, especially like when I'm in the gym, I listen to uh, a lot of like pop, dance, and NF. <laughs> because it just, it's like hype and it really gets me going when I'm in the gym. Okay, last question and definitely the most asked question by far. How did you and I meet? Okay, so we met at a mutual friend's house's party. I don't even, he didn't even want to go to the party. One of his friends dragged yeah, him I got to the drunk party. There. He didn't want to go, but no, we were at a party. I was standing around the fire. I saw him over there, thought I recognized him. Some mutual friends on Twitter thought I recognized him. He came over, introduced himself. Started talking and found out we had a lot in common. Disney. Yeah, basically. <laughs> found out we were both from North Carolina. Yep. Started talking, started hanging out. One of the first times that we hung out, I snorted when I left. And I thought I was going to die. If he didn't run, then. <laughs> she wondered if I heard it or not. I, I just played it. it cool. I just played it cool that maybe he didn't hear that. I heard it. Hey. Oh, I just don't act like anything. I guess people expect like this crazy, like crazy yeah. adventurous story. It's like, we were just at a friend's party. No, we were at a party. My, the guy that I came with ditched me and started hanging out with other people. So I'm just kind of like standing around twiddling my thumbs. So I'm just like, I'm just gonna try to go talk to people. And she happened to be in the first group that I went over and talked to. And we happened to have stuff in common. So us two were the ones that kind of kept the conversation going amongst yes. the group. And before I left the party that night, he asked if he could have my number. Can I have it? He did. It was sweet. Girl, I got that phone number. <laughs> there you go. The mystery has been solved on how we met. Because people have asked that for a very long time. Yeah, so that wraps up this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Uh, maybe I'll do this again sometime if you guys liked it enough. I think Sunday is going to be my days that I release videos. So keep your eye out. Hope to see you on the next one. Bye guys.